Hello and welcome to the video for what is flow control, the sequence node. I've got a quick little example here. When I hit start, it's going to populate those four text boxes with a little bit of poetry. And while it looked like it was instantaneous to you, it was actually not. It was done in a sequence node. So let's look at the sequence node. The sequence node is pretty simple. It has an input and as many outputs as you want using the add pin. Well, all this does is organizes your flow. It will fire the first one, and once it is done, it will fire the second one, and it will continue on down the line. That's it. The sequence node is simply a way to better organize things. Now we could have, for example, had a simple button click and then we fire the first text and then we chain off the first text our next text and then we chain off the next one we could have another set text and we have a long string of things who knows as long as we want and it might become a little bit difficult to organize how we want things set up plus if we need to add and remove things from our order we're going to have to reroute nodes by using the sequence you could have extra pins in here and you could disable them or enable them as needed based on if you wanted to debug or you had certain things that should only show up during testing. Or for example, if you needed to, after this text, we wanted to change something to be colored, we could easily add on without having to reflow everything after it. So the sequence is a nice way of organizing the flow of your actual blueprint. 